Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Domes here, and today I got my boy Shinies. We're gonna make a, we're gonna make a video on how to win one more v ones in Gears of War 4. I know you guys have been asking me for this video for a pretty long time. I've been kind of procrastinating about me dropping it or not, and I'm just gonna get this video out to you guys. So, first question is cover fights. You guys have been asking me how you win more fights on cover and all that. Basically, I'm going to show you guys one thing right now. Is Let's say you have your opponent hurt. Or whoever the enemy team is. Locust, Kyle, doesn't really matter. Enemies? If you have your guy hurt. Right? Instead of straight lining him like this. And having him chunk you from up close. My way of pushing someone. What I would do in this scenario. Would be either play it wide. Go to the right side of the cover. You know, shoot him from shoot him wide, like you get a quick pop shot in. Or this is a move that I see a lot of pro players do, including myself. You'll get on the cover and literally pre-aim, then popping their head up. To so the moment they pop up, you shoot them. So I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna give you guys a demonstration. That's the shot you wanna hit them with. And if they're already hurt, you're usually gonna either kill them. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'll put some damage into them. That's going to be the effect of your push. If you get on the cover and he's already hurt, you're going to one shot him for a fact. Now, if he eats your shot, that's unfortunate. But if you have him hurt, he shouldn't be able to, you know, take sponge your shot or, like, literally eat your shot. Nine times out of ten, you're going to get that kill if you already have him hurt. Another thing about cover fights people don't know a lot about is... I will include a video in the description on how to up a reaction shot. But if you have an opponent right here... Chinese go ahead and stand right there. And if they're cover, if they're aiming over the cover, they're trying to pre-aim you like this. I don't know if you guys realize, but it's not like a good position. Like, because your shot is going to hit this cover. So you're not going to hit your full spread on the person that's coming towards the cover. And it's honestly easier for you to up a reaction shot them and one, one shot them. If they're aiming over the cover. So go ahead and aim over the cover. That shot does a, little, does a lot more damage when they're literally aiming over the cover. So if they're aiming over the cover, it's easier for you to sh shoot them or whatever. As you guys can see, he was aiming over the cover. It's a lot, like, their body is more exposed. Most people in most of the scenarios, they're aiming over the cover trying to predict where you're going to go. And... The best way to chunk people as they're gliding in towards the cover is to shoot them right before they hit the cover. So it doesn't hit. So it doesn't hit this. If you're shooting once they get towards the cover, right here, your shot won't fully hit. So get on the cover, Shinies. So this is him, right? Imagine he's dashing towards me and I'm trying to shoot him as he's gliding towards the cover, right? Look how much damage you're doing. You're trying to predict where he's going. You're not getting the chunk. You have to literally shoot him as he's gliding. Like, I'm going to show you guys right now. Chinese, this is what I want you to do. I want you to glide. Because this cover right here on this side. As you guys can see, you guys have to literally shoot behind them. Like, literally aim for like this spot right here. If you're aiming for the cover exactly like right here. You're not going to get the kill. Now, I'll prove it to you guys right now. It's all about positioning, man. Like, predicting your opponent. So, go ahead and glide towards the cover again. People think, oh, he ate my shot. What not? Like, he didn't eat your shot, bro. Like, three of your pellets hit the cover because you're aiming right here. You're waiting for him to hit the cover. Instead of waiting, instead of shooting, like, while he's, like, right here. On this spot of the... This part of the cover. I'll show you guys again one more time, but I'm actually gonna chunk him this time. As you guys see, I'm not aiming on the cover. I'm aiming behind them. And I'm getting the chunk because my shot there's like a little glitch on this covers or covers like this. It doesn't matter which cover it is. You literally have to aim behind them. 
in order for your shot to not hit the cover. If you're aiming on the cover like this, look how most of your spread hits the cover. Fans, I want you to try it now. So Shiny, I want you to try the shot. I want you to try the shot where you're aiming like right here. Like you're trying to aim towards like the up A. Like you're trying to aim right here where I'm looking, I'm standing at right now. So go ahead and shoot me. Um, you can try to kill me if you want. As you see, you're shooting half the spread because like you're aiming on the cover, you're aiming towards me. Like you're never gonna get the kill. Now if you aim behind me as I'm dashing towards the cover, so you gotta aim about right here. To the point where your shotgun isn't like on the cover. I'm gonna dash towards it from right here, alright? <laughs> Look how much easier it is to get kills when someone dashing towards the cover. If you're not if you're not aiming on the cover, it's ten times better. A hundred percent. Now, one thing I like about this game is that this this shot works like anywhere. Like, for example, this shot right here. If he's dashing towards the cover, as you see, like his body is fully exposed. So get ahead and get on the cover. This is literally a lefty switch. You can predict your opponent, chunk him, whatever. Like, if I shoot him right now, he's gonna die. But all you have to do for that shot is literally either do this. Doesn't really matter what you're doing. But whenever you're shooting your one Vs or having a one V, try to make sure your LT or your hard aim isn't on the cover. Mm, mm, juicy. If it's not on the cover, you're gonna one-shot them Good usually. Question. Now, if you're aiming like this. Your full spread isn't gonna hit them. Always keep that in mind when you're, you know, fighting against somebody. Let me give you guys a quick demonstration again of how the shot actually looks from his perspective. Now, Shiny, I'm gonna get on this cover right here, right? And I want you to aim over and make sure like half, make sure like half your of your hardy when your LT is on the cover, like. They can spread his discover. Sweet. Yeah. Now, as you guys see, he will be like, in game, people will be like, oh my god, he ate my shot. I hit him with a, I hit him with a point blind. But in reality, your cover, your LT was actually like on the cover, so your full spread didn't hit him. Now, to win more 1v's, guys, I also recommend you guys strafe. Now, the way I strafe, I don't like walking around. Like, I usually, sometimes I do walk around and, like, walk up to the player and hold my shots and chunk them. But there's times where, like, I'm stuck. And my way of, like, fighting, which is weird, is I'll literally do this. You hold down the A button, and you roadie run. Like, not fully roadie run, but your character, like, dashes around. And that helps you, like, evade some shots. I'm gonna try to show you guys right now what I would usually do in game. And I'm gonna include a clip. I'm, I'm gonna include a five piece that I did on, on the scrim yesterday, I believe, against um, Praz's team, which is, I don't know which order they're under right now, which I can't really say because I don't know which under they're under, but I caught a five piece against them yesterday. And the way I did it was I walked, chunked somebody. So when you're walking, Make sure like you're holding your shots. Like you want to hold it and release it at the perfect moment. Like you want to be like this. You want to walk a little bit, get close enough for the chunk, and shoot. And if yeah, mental is like a perfect example. Mental likes holding his shots. So I tried it yesterday during the five piece that I got, and it ended up working in my favor. Like I took my time. Like don't get way too desperate in your one piece. Another thing is predict where your opponent is gonna go. So let's say your opponent is like wall bouncing like a maniac. So one by one like this. There's a pattern. Just line them up right in the middle. Because eventually if they keep wall bouncing left to right, they're gonna always go to the middle again. So you just have to literally calculate your shots. Don't rush into your shots and be like, oh my god, he's fucking wall bouncing on me, bro. What did I do? Like just take your time, bro. He missed roll, like wait for a mistake. 
Yo, hit a lot more shots like that too. Another thing I want to talk about is back rolling. So, let's say you hit your, let's say you like you're holding your shots, right? You hit him with a good shot, and he's walking up to you, a straight line, you, whatever he is, like whatever he's doing. You could always roll back and keep playing for shots. Keep back rolling, like literally just keep like shooting and rolling back, shooting and rolling back. Like you don't want to give him a chunk. If your teammates, play, if you guys have a two v one. Let's see if this guy's trapped right here, right? You guys, you have a 2v1 situation, and there's one guy here, and you have a teammate with you. Usually, what you guys would both do, please, for the love of God, don't try to get close to him with a Lancer. Enemy contact. The, reason, the reason why I say that is because, like, the distance between right here and right here is literally nothing, bro. Like, all I have to do is do this. I'm already in front of your face. And you have a Lancer out. I'm going to chunk you. If you have a 2v1 situation, the person is trapped in this corner. Make sure you always have somebody with a shotgun playing wide with a shotgun. And if he's already here, your team, you have a teammate looking over you, right? With a Lancer or whatever. Pistol, doesn't matter. If he's already 4.8, like, he's going to go down no matter what. You just play for shots. Play it wide. And you have a teammate with you right here. Either with a Lancer or a shotgun. doesn't really matter. Keeping his head down. You guys gotta learn how to position yourself a lot better in these 1v1s. Like, trying to just go ahead and fight a 1v, win or lose. Like, let's actually sweat our asses off in this fight. What I did right there, I had him hurt. I was playing for damage. I already knew. I, I at least I knew he was at least two pointed. So I purposely was trying to get him to hit this right side of the cover. So I could literally back a pop shot it. Now what back a pop shotting does, it makes your shot like hit harder. A regular back a doesn't hit as hard as a back a pop shot. Now let's fight one more time. Took my time right there too. <laughs> Took my time right there too. And D, like, you don't have to pop shot all the time. Like, I didn't have time to hard aim and try to pop shot him when he up A that cover towards me. I, I feel like if I would have pressed LT, that would have been like a millisecond delay or whatever. Five millisecond delay, I would have had to shoot and he probably would have, you know, shot before me. I would have tried pop shotting. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing I want to talk about. I agree with what Shiny just said, guys. Like, there's also moments where, like, even myself, like, I, I blame myself a lot for this too. Like, I do it in game. I'm four pointed, bro. Let's say person, like, I'm four pointed and whatnot, and I'm holding the cover. Trying to go ahead and put a few shots into me. That far? Yeah, one more. I'm four pointed, bro. So now. All Chinese has to do, honestly, is just stand there and look at the up A. Literally. If I'm right here and I'm standing right here and I have you four point and you up A into this shot, you're usually going to go down and even put more damage. I'm going to show you guys right now. So let me know when you're four point. I'm going to put a few shots into you from the wide. Get on the cover. I'm going to put a few shots into you from the wide and let me know if you're four pointed. You're four? Hit, hit the other way right now. Again. That puts that extra damage, like, alright, alright. I hit you with a brick. <laughs> I'm gonna sit back a little bit more, I'm just like right here. Alright. Look at that extra. As you guys can see, like, the person is antsy. All you have to do is literally aim for the up A. Because as they're up A on the cover and trying to get back on the cover, their body gets exposed for a little bit longer. Now I want to show you guys. When you guys show this, I want to show you guys this fight right here. So in five v fives, 
Yeah, the usual 1v1 spot on second half. Because usually there's only one 1v1 spot. There's a 1v1 spot, uh, this spot right here, usually that always goes down. Statue. Or cave, which is the second half of Home Hills, which is fountains and welding over there. Shiny, come, come over here, Shiny, come to T. Okay, so this T fight is crucial. What I love doing when I play this spot in, in Home Hills or whatever on this map, because I usually do play Home Hills on this map and I play T, and I'm really good at fighting on T. What I do is I would literally play it like this. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but get on the cover. As they're on the cover, you can still cross them. So what I would usually do is put a few pistol shots into them. They just keep crossing them little by little. And then usually what they would do, since they're hurt, they'll try to up A towards the left right here and try to get into this corner. But right as they do that, you start pre-firing the up A. So... They pre-fire in here and you just keep literally shooting them like... That's what I usually do in 1v1s. Like, I'll literally sit right here on the side of the opposite team. And keep in mind, some people will actually straight line you right as you pull out a pistol or a lancer. So always be prepared to roll back. Put yourself in a better position. But usually I'll come here. I'll, this is me usually, right? I'll come down here, up A, lefty switch. So I get on the cover, aim in, and pull off the cover. And right as they're dashing into the cover, because usually I'm here before them. I don't know why, but usually I... I'm literally like on T before they are. As they're dashing towards the cover, I'm putting shots into them. So go ahead and dash towards the cover, Shinies. This is me, and I have a wide lancer on them. And then right here, I literally, usually, usually, go ahead and break the hill. Usually I'll up a reaction shot them. Or I'll get on this side of the cover and aim in. Right here, and I'll still put more damage. So I'm gonna get him hurt for you guys and show you guys how it would look like from my perspective. So let me know you're about to go down. All right, let me, get him. Let me know when you're about to go down. All right, so I'll get on this side of the cover and aim in, and I'll down them. That's something I love doing. Like they're already four pointers, so you can honestly just play it wide and aim over the cover because any hell of your shotgun that hits them, it keeps them hurt. That's another thing that you guys don't know about. In the 2.2 update, if you're hurt and somebody keeps hitting you with shotgun bullets no matter how far they are, that person stays hurt. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Let me know when you hurt. You hurt? Alright, so if you keep putting shotgun bullets into them, they don't heal up. They could be super far. Like, I'm going to show you guys right now. Like, Obviously, you can, you're not going to use a shotgun from like fucking 10 miles away, but like this distance is kind of fine for you. If you sit back... Look at that. Your shotgun literally still puts damage into them. And I realized that not that long ago, like, they could be super far. But if you keep putting shots into them, they won't heal up at all. Like, not one bit. Because it takes a little bit before they start healing back up. It takes like a good one or two seconds. Maybe two to three seconds, actually. If you keep hitting them with tiny pellets, like, let's say you're chasing somebody down, right? Which happens a lot in 5v5 situations, even 1v's. You have your opponent hurt. The way I do it is I keep up in and shooting. Like, I'll up a reaction shot them. Like, this is me. Like, even though it looks like you're not hitting all your spread, you just hit it one bullet, one bullet, one bullet in his back, you're still putting damage into him. He stays hurt. So my team would tell me, yo, he's one shot, bro. He's one shot. Like, I would either pull out a pistol, obviously. Or if you don't have time to pull out a pistol and he's already, like, too far away, you can just always, like, up a towards him. And keep gaining distance on him. Okay. What's also a really good tip for you guys that for one of your situations? Oh, wall bouncing, yo. Oh my god, you guys had this question so much earlier. My other videos. Let me show you guys something real quick. You guys keep asking me why, like sometimes why the wall bounce so much. And I want to show you guys right now my reason behind it. I right, trying to come over here. Let's say somebody's behind this corner, Seeker Manning, and I know that he's there. The way I would do it is I'll fake like I don't know that he's there. So this is where your headsets, like your headsets, are like a really big part of the game. Because usually when they move a little bit, go ahead and move, Shinies. See, I heard that. 
That one step he did, I heard. And I already know he's there. So what I would do, I would literally walk up to him. And then pull back. And usually what this person right here that they would do, they'll come out of the cover. Like, they think that you don't know. So most people, when they're secret manning, they'll come out of the cover to try to chunk you. So what I do from now on that I've been doing a lot, and it's been working in my favor, and I've been literally dropping a lot of kills. I know kills aren't everything, but a lot of secret manning, secret manning people that have been secret manning against me and whatnot, I've been pulling back. And they've been coming out the cover and exposing themselves, and I just chunked them. Like, I'll be like this. And I hit them with a brick. Another thing I sometimes I do a lot too is that I know the person's right here on this side of the cover of the ramp. And this is me forcing a 1v. Let's say I need a 3 cap, and like, this is my best chance of getting a 3 cap. I'll hit them with a 2 step bounce. So, like, I'll bounce towards them and away from them, and they'll come out the cover too. Like,. And you're still putting damage on them. And honestly, at that point, you have an advantage. Because, like, if they shoot right as you hit this cover and they miss and you pull it to the left, you should be able to shoot them before they shoot you. Gotta be kidding me. So I'm going to play the clip right now of the five piece or whatever that I got against Kraz. And you guys let me know in the comments section. Like, well, I could analyze the clip for you guys. So basically, before the video even starts, because I am using Twitch for this. So in the clip, the guy took platform from me on dam. He took plat, which is like the air we jump up. He took plat from me, and I knew that I wasn't going to jump up there and die. Because as you're jumping into platform on dam, you're not allowed to shoot. So once you, this animation, you can't shoot mid animation. So usually you'll get chunked. So what I did was I went to like the middle part of the ramp and blind fired him with the shotgun. You guys, I'm going to let you guys see the clip. I think it's that's off of me. Should I can cool the video? Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Mm. Ha, you guys but it's also really helpful in one v's. Straight frame pop shotting, blind firing. Oh yeah, smokes. That's another thing, bro. All right, guys. So, all right, guys. So, smokes is a really big part of one v's also. And one thing about smokes is that let's say you're fighting somebody right here, right? If you smoke them out, and now I'm not saying, hey man, play like a sped. But sometimes in this game, you kind of have to play like a, you have to play kind of like, not the smartest thing ever. Like you literally, like on other people's perspective, they're going to think, oh, this kid's straight lining. But in the reality, you're straight lining because you know that this game stuns lasts pretty long. You have a smoke shiny? Let me real quick. I'm going to show them how long the stun actually lasts where I can't shoot. This whole time I'm going to press RT, guys. Look, right now I'm trying to shoot. That took at least three to four seconds, right? Now, if I smoke shinies, for example, he has a boom shot on him, whatever he has. And try to roll back shinies. I'd rather the smoke blows up. This whole time he was stunned. Right as you throw the smoke and your smoke is about to pop, that's when you start holding on the A button and literally pushing them. Because <laughs> they can't shoot. And by the time they come off the stun. Yeah, by the time they come off the stun. You're already in their face. So if they have a boom shot, they either have to kill themselves or you get the chunk before they even shoot the boom. Same thing with Torque, any power weapon they have in their hand. That, I've been doing that a lot lately and there's been a lot in 5 years where I'll smoke something and I'll literally, let's say this is the distance between me and him. And he's right there and I smoke him. And right as the smoke blows up, I start holding on the A button. 
I can't see where he's at. He's already straight lining me. And I'm stunned. So keep in mind, guys, save your smokes. Like, use your smokes effectively. If you see a chance or opportunity to kill somebody with Boomshot or Torque Bow, whatever weapon they have, or even a shotgun, don't be scared of just holding out the A button and get to, like, to close the gap between you and him. Because at that point, by the time he realizes or gets off the smoke or gets off the stun or whatever, you either in his face chunking him, or if you gain a pretty decent amount and got the first shot on him. That's all for the video, guys. If you guys... <clears throat> Actually, hold up. Subscribe to my man Shiny, man. Um, me and him going to be dropping a lot of content together. Um, I'll be putting his link in the description of the video, like always. I do have some really big news for you guys when it comes to YouTube. I am partnering up with a few people. And I'll wait for the for the announcement video so you guys can understand more about it. But um, yeah, Shiny's gonna be a part of the team, the YouTube content creating team, bro. So make sure you guys subscribe to the man. I'll make sure I put his link in the description once again. And until next time, guys, peace. Okay. Hey. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Huh? 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh?